सो कोविड लॉकडाउन में हर एक ने फोन से उठा के वीडियोस तो बना ली बट वेन द लॉकडाउन ओपन अप आई थिंक लोगों को समझ आया दैट दे हैव टू गेट बैक टू देयर नॉर्मल जॉब्स बट देन देर वर दोज हुड न्यू नॉर्मल जॉब फॉर देम सेल्व नाउ दे वर कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर्स एंड जब रिफाइनमेंट शुरू हुई उनकी तो उनको समझ आया कि क्या जरूरी होता है क्या नहीं होता है देर वीडियो स्टार्टेड गेटिंग स्ट्रक डाउन फ्रॉम यूट्यूब फ्रॉम ऑडियो प्लेटफॉर्म्स टूडे वी टॉक अबाउट आई पी आर द इंटलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी क्या होती है क्यों जरूरी है सो बिफोर आई बैंटर मच अबाउट वाई इज इट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट आई जस्ट आस्क द लॉयर ऑन द पैनल श्रुतिका या सो आई पी अगेन राइट बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड there were people who uh, again a lot of people had nothing to do and the first thing that you do is you sit on your bed you have the tv on and that is what you look at and uh, people came up with ideas that okay even we can do this and uh, there no idea okay um you get ideas from the television from instagram everywhere youtube and people tend to copy it right um you do it and you don't realize till what extent can you actually use it and then whatever uh, efforts you put into your video or audio anything that is put down by youtube or instagram whatever that you actually upload it on and then people are not aware of ip rights so now it's coming up right there's copyright there's trademark these are the two main ip rights which people actually need to be aware of when it comes to content being created guys just chipping yeah. here for one second neharika ip just to explain what ip stands for yes. it stands for intellectual property rights yes back right. to you yes yeah. <laughs> highly important yeah <laughs> that's important he Let's actually did mention it yeah. <laughs> he did mention I'll, I'll it though i'll interject with a yeah. question there right yeah. you you definitely kind of mentioned that people are copying things yeah uh to what extent does it come under comes under the ip infringement mm-hmm. and to what extent does it come under a trend is what i'd like to understand from a legal perspective yeah so for that i think the, the that was actually my question that before getting into that what copy karke kitna tum chala sakte ho aur kitna original chala sakte ho isse pehle samajhna padega that what is it that is exactly protected like what is copyrightable in the first place so like uh, from what i understood anything that is original from your end is copyrightable that's the basic uh, Us- how 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 does how does originality gets a score there from you or But from guys, anybody guys i let me just chip in here for just one second and let's do a small introduction of the panel so that people who are looking at this can actually get a context of kon kya kyu bol raha hai ha for sure for a protect and like bring that after that is this conversation also under protection right now no okay but nevertheless now you pointed it out i just bring it up uh, no yeah. no i i provide my consent for uh, giving out my information and, and that's a uh, oh, yeah, yeah i'm i'm recording this on video so i can give my consent and that's what actually kind of happens on platforms as well digitally if you kind of give your consent on any platform be it a twitter tweet be it let's say for example an email or for that matter even a whatsapp chat Mm-hmm. it is considered consent to use content right uh, and that's where my question was stemming that how do you kind of define an intellectual property being infringed when being copied so i'll, I'll if yeah. i could just take this first if i'll just yes, yes, yes 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> finally we have panel with us on intellectual property right for content creators you should hear it out because you yourself will be looking at content and अगर तुम्हारे बिजनेस में कंटेंट नहीं है तो मोस्ट लाइकली योर बिजनेस मॉडल इज मोस्ट लाइकली फ्लॉड इन मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द रीनास दैट आई सी आउट देयर इट्स लाइक फ्लॉड 100% टुडे एंड वी डोंट प्रोड्यूस अ वीडियो और अ स्टैटिक टुडे यू आर नोवेयर इन दिस वर्ल्ड विद दैट वी हैव शितेश राणा हु हैज बीन वर्किंग इन कंटेंट फॉर द पास्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स या definitely uh, in the circuit more than uh, i have been i've been uh, fairly in, in i mean inculcated with the content world uh i was working for a very reputed firm before i would not like to take the name it's a platform xyz it's a very big platform uh, it's a xyz <laughs> platform i'm not going to we're very much careful of ip today ip so big but we are not even giving advice and you're so cautious <laughs> 
so no 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 names guys yeah we don't have to take names otherwise i'll get a slap i'll get slapped <laughs> with a bloody lawsuit there uh, so uh, that's that's more or less i've worked with a few content creators in this country who tried and of course i have smashed it out of the park as well so unka naam bhi nahi le sakte no i don't want to take their name okay. of course <laughs> it, it's not short to fame for me no it's it's something that i've worked with them simple cool and that's shitij uh, i don't have their consent <laughs> <laughs> all right this get this is getting like too much into the layers no consent matters no bro <laughs> in general i'm just saying exactly your, just saying that there is, is your past, yeah. so, uh, there's a uh, limit correct. to it like correct. you don't really require consent for everything Absolutely. correct yeah. correct that's fair use oh uh, <laughs> No one will uh, get on to you. I choose not to. Mm. Yeah, I choose not. Yeah. That's more like uh, it. <laughs> with that, we have three lawyers on the panel. We have Ashutosh, who is practicing intellectual property rights and is gracing us on the podcast today. <laughs> Then we have uh, Shrutika again, yeah. working with OTTs, which she cannot name again. <laughs> and we have Niharika, who's working, uh, practicing before the court right now. Not anymore. I'm not a practicing lawyer anymore. But I have had like a like my own little bit. Expo- a little exposure to the IPR uh, practicing on the IPR side, mm-hmm. and yeah, it was fun. But I'm here to because I'm back here. <laughs> yeah, so that is uh, good to have you back, like after ages. Good to be back. Yeah, and finally you have me, so like I'm stuck <laughs> with that practicing law- lawyer already. Um, how many times yeah. have you? Sh- I mean, uh, introduced yourself. No, no, no. no. <laughs> how many times have you left law and come back to law? <laughs> so, <laughs> how many times have you college? left active practice? He, he becomes active lawyer every evening when he drinks <laughs> and says, "Me bakilu," <laughs> and leaves that thought in the morning. Raat gayi baat. Then after that, me Anshul ka phone aaya. Yar, chhod yar, bada kar de. Well, I. I feel that with this thing and the law that I am practicing now, mm. actually is better than the law that I've practiced over the course of the past five years. And law, I've been five times. I've been back again. But uh, let's uh, Progress. let's not derail from the topic and let's get back to what we were talking about. That what is actually copyrightable and what is infringement mm-hmm. in the first place. Okay, copyrightable. Uh, Can we first talk about what is? why do what are the things so firstly intellectual property yeah, intellectual right. property is uh, your uh, your creation uh, be mm-hmm. it uh, your trademarks which uh, represents your business uh, be mm-hmm. it copyright which may be uh, design uh, which may be um, uh, literary literary artistic or, uh, 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 work mm-hmm. uh cin- cinematography uh, your uh, uh, design uh, di- no not design designs uh, um, till an aspect uh, of design- audio it's recordings a, yeah. these can be uh, categorized largely in uh, uh, copyrights so for a brief description uh, anything that has an artistic angle which originates from the human being itself yes can be uh, put under copyright yes. and anything that is representing your business an is a form original work which you put some effort to to put it from your thoughts on a piece of paper Uh, which can be used uh, in multiple ways is is uh, your intellectual property. intellectual property yes. yeah. but uh, my my question to you there is uh, let's say for example there are multiple music festivals in the world right mm-hmm. how do you differentiate an ip from another it's mm-hmm. all music festivals right essentially the concept is same the creative part is same mm-hmm. how do you differentiate those ips and how are those ips actually kind of registered as different ips so if i would have given been, your explanation if, yes if i would have been their counsel or oh, different types of ips in a concert first is the name of the concert itself yeah uh you come up with a name you try to protect that name mm-hmm. because <clears throat> if you are organizing the same event in every city with the same name the, the name actually dilutes a little right so you need to protect that name uh, number 1 uh, number 2 the artists who are performing there uh, uh their uh, uh absolutely absolutely uh, so uh, an artist a singer has a has a has a right to perform his music though uh, the composer has the primary right uh, to hold the uh, copyright in his name uh, but the artist always has the performance right uh, in in uh, inherently uh, within the performer Uh, so they can certainly perform uh, uh, anywhere but yes uh, if it's just a concert where you're just playing music without the artists 
then you need to take permissions from the right people. Okay. Uh, when it comes to music, uh, then it can be divided into lyrics. It can be divided into composition, music. So you're not going to go to every single individual to uh, get permissions from them. So for that, there is a copyright society where these guys actually uh, register themselves. You directly deal with the copyright society. Um, IPRS, IPRS, NOVEX. Uh, one is IPRS. So uh, you take permissions from them, you take licenses from them, and then you uh, use their music in these concerts. No, but my but question is... If you have is, a performer, then of course, uh, he comes with an inherent uh, right itself. My, my question is... your right, uh, the organizer's right in the contract. Got that uh, you have adequate permission to sing this uh, or perform this uh, work. Understood that. My question is a little different. My mm -hmm. question is when you explain intellectual property right now, right? Your uh, prima facie explanation to the intellectual property was that anything creative that you create out of your baggage of uh, your bag right or your mm -hmm. uh, creativity is going to be your intellectual right. property your mind, your so mind. correct, your mind, you, correct. Uh, so if you... if on a legal basis if you could explain to the audience and me as well a creative thought for me mm -hmm. or a creative thought for anshul both of us have a creative idea we say that hey I create XYZ music festival. Anshul says, I say, I create ABC music festival. Mm -hmm. How are those not clashing as intellectual Because properties? there is no protection on idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There is protection exactly. on exactly. implementation. Yes. I was just going idea. to say that. Yes. <clears throat> So that's what I wanted to kind of hear there. Yeah. Wow. So you could have said it. <laughs> Clearly pushed it to that point where something like that comes to you. No, no, so, it's, it's, it's a, a, an idea when it's implemented uh, in action, uh, uh, in words, um, in whichever way. Basically that, that, in the public that, domain, if you're able to show it that it is being used in public domain, this I'm talking about trademarks. Uh, when it comes to copyright, um, there's one slight difference between trademarks and copyright. Um, you, as soon as you come up with something, for example, when it comes to artistic, um, if there's a logo that we come up with, from that moment onwards, uh, if you're talking about copyright, you have the rights. For trademarks, you have to actually go through a registration so process. So that is one. Is, is the trademark is also for brand value. Exactly. That's so that you're trademark is that, that, that comes with What is different? It in commercial use. Yes. And and earn out of it. Yeah. Then only it's protectable. Yeah. Copyright is protectable as soon as you uh, publish it. it. Yeah. However, you publish it. as soon as you publish, you publish or create, you that, able, create yes. that, uh, that, uh, that work for yourself. Yes. Uh, so be it so, work, so, be it so, artist, uh, be some artistic mm -hmm. work, be it musical work. As soon as you create your copyright. Uh, however, so as an example, however, sorry to cut sorry. you, but however, because we're talking about this, um, it is always advised to go for a copyright registration. Why? Because we'll come to the infringement part later, but just for now, just for the basics, um, you can actually show that you have rights when you have a registration. You can show it. It's very easy to say that, um, okay, this was my art or this is my book. I've written this. Uh, you don't have a proof for it when it comes to copyright, right? So a registration helps you with that. That is how um, trademark registration works. So that is just one very basic thing that everyone should know about it. But then again, for trademarks, we'll, we'll, we'll end up talking about passing off and... No, let's not yeah, that's, that. that's all legal. legal. Jargon. That's Jargon. legal. Yeah, I'll yeah. simplify it and I'll slightly differ with you hmm. over here. Hmm. Good, get your trademark registered. You are not supposed to, or you're not required to yes. get your copyright registered. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It is protected. It is by protected. Your, by, uh, by uh, your creation or by your publication. Uh, hmm. The point which is being made is why a registration for your copyright is required because it creates a prima facie. I'm just using this yeah. legal word, which is creates a prima facie case in your favor. Yeah. That you don't have to now dig through the documents, dig, dig through your ideas, yes. your previous and drafts prove to that, prove yeah. that this is your work. Yeah. Right. Uh, if you've already registered it first. If you've registered your copyright. Yeah. So you don't have to do do this primary due diligence exactly. at the time of any conflict. Exactly. So that is the only... Uh, uh, this only again, point. we can actually talk about this in detail and name and so, terms. So, when so we so talk about infringement. Just, oh, yeah. uh, just to simplify, yeah. if I may just say and correct me if I'm wrong here. If I kind of make the Coca-Cola logo today, right. it's not there. Let's hypothetically assume that Coca-Cola logo is not mm. there. Right? right. If I make the Coca-Cola logo today and of course I... I kind of work for Coca-Cola hypothetically here. Um, 
if i publish it let's say on instagram or what, whatever platform i want to mm-hmm. publish it on or a uh, documentation internally it becomes like a copyright for me right is a copyright correct? yes not a trademark not a trademark, trademark. Is, uh, but yeah, you can always sure. uh, you can use it as a trademark also you can no, show you can. you can show use like it you works can, both so, ways yes yeah uh, it will be both yeah a trademark and a copyright yeah. but when you do that when you publish it without commercially exploiting it mm-hmm. uh, at that point of time it's mm-hmm. still a copyright still but a copyright. yes you'll uh, claim your user from that day when you publish it yep right um uh, but ideally when you start commercial use so i'll give you an example if you created this coca cola logo and we are saying this name again and again but of course, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter example. because this is now this is an exception this for is an fair educational use, purpose fair use, use yeah. right so uh, so the, yeah. it, it, it it's it's an exception over here and we'll talk about what fair use is we, yes. we have to that's so, very uh, important actually if you yeah. if you've created that mark you just published it on uh, instagram don't use it for 10 years someone else finds it out and actually gets it registered it happens very often mm. happened with a yeah. college um, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah like and you don't we, use we, it we we got our degrees uh, changed in the middle of uh, oh, pursuing yeah. our degrees oh, what God. damn okay. dude yeah, because our <laughs> college trademark was registered later than the uh, trademark Original of a similar one. similarly so, named uh, university in jaipur so it's or not just creation gwalior gwalior satyam so it's not wow. just creation it's continuous use as well yes. yeah right if you if there is a break in that use then uh, your right actually uh, uh, dilutes a little dilutes a little mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay so without registration you mean uh, with registration with without both wow. even with registration it's uh, challengeable yeah oh hmm. interesting interesting because we were i think i our university was not uh, was using it for the longest yeah period, they were right? it's just that like at the point of dispute so, yeah. yeah the point of dispute was that jab unhone raise kiya so I'll, i'll tell you an example uh, recently uh, uh, this came a case came out where there, there was a, a very popular eatery uh, hmm. in uh, central delhi uh, wouldn't name it um, they had been using that mark from past 100 years as they claimed but some other competitor So maybe someone from the family itself actually started using that 50 years later and got it registered hmm. and got that registration for 50 years and kept using it for 50 years hmm. right now he kept on saying the other side kept on saying we have been using this from past 100 years hmm. but they did not have documentation documentation before. right so they but- lost right in their own mark can i can i challenge l- legally can i challenge so if i am the person with 100 years and you are the person with 50 years right you've registered it and you say that i mean with the kind of usage that i've had i've had 50 years advantage of usage here so we talk about about mark over here ha right? nahi so can i can i challenge it in a way saying that hey this is the first day that i published it this But is the document can yes. yeah you, you can you document. can always mention yeah, absolutely. the first day that yes, i published yes. it was yes. 50 years behind you yes. as and that has like let's say for example a date mentioned absolutely. to it so absolutely. then i challenge it and I win yes okay that's one of the part Yes, you show that this is the first document, and also subsequently you have been continuously using it. Of course, no one can in their right mind can have documents from past one hundred years, mm-hmm. and even court understands that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you just need to show yes, this is the first document, and I only have documents for for this duration to show that I've been continuously using it. Got so it. it makes a credible case. Uh, uh, Something as your, simple as you know, like you show that okay, I've been using this mark from so and so date mm. by, and it was this company. and now that company was transferred and handed over to this format and now that entity uh, uh, then that entity t- changed to become something else and here we are today got it so that as long as you show you that there is you can discuss a, n number of hypotheticals yeah. and i there lot of, of uh, things yeah uh, but now uh, coming back to the topic uh, for creators ip rights right we i think it's very important to touch fair use yeah Yes. Because right. that's uh, largely where the yes. creators face difficulty. Yes, mm-hmm. they don't know. There's a very thin line. Which manner they can use yeah. it, uh, and what protects them, and mm-hmm. what will land them in trouble. One hundred percent. Yes, it's it, there's a very thin line mm-hmm. between um, uh, fair use Because and infringing. Because if you look at the it. policy, the the IPR policy for both Instagram or and YouTube, YouTube, and these are the two platforms that I can think of right now off the top mm-hmm. of my head, which are important for content creators. Mm-hmm. It's very clearly put down over there that. 
what you, whatever that you're uploading has to be your own original work. It yes. has to be something that you have created yes. and not a creation by somebody else. Yeah, yes. you can't even like download a video and republish it even for like you one second yeah, or something. As per the policy, you although may have it's, a, that it's a myth that you can use it for like thirty seconds or twenty seconds, but it says that even if it's there for like a microsecond, no, the uh, owner uh, of the how do you how do you, you create know, a reaction you video then? So yeah, exactly, you can like use it. Reposting means it's the entire thing. Terms of use yeah. itself. Yeah. Terms of use itself. In terms of yeah. use itself. So even then, like uh, from what I read in the policy uh, of YouTube specifically, yeah. that uh, YouTube is something different from Instagram. Exactly. Yeah, Instagram. Uh, uh, so we, we like, Instagram does not Instagram have monetization. Well, for, for, first, let's has. say uh, YouTube in that mm -hmm. case. So mm -hmm. YouTube content policy is that uh, after you get uh, a certain number of subscribers on YouTube, you you generate a content ID of your own. Mm -hmm. And after that content ID is there in the, uh, there, there, is a, uh, there in the algorithm, Records, yeah. every time you upload something, mm -hmm. what happens is that your uh, video is basically cross-referenced with the entire database that YouTube has. Mm -hmm. If there is any match that comes, and it, that match may be as big as an entire video being copied or as small as that a four by four beat of music mm -hmm. just being there in your video, which is not even the same, but it's just a glitch. Mm -hmm. The owner of that video gets the right to take action in the three forms, either by uh, uh, asking the publisher of the video to take take down the video, which is a mandate on him, mm -hmm. or he can basically ask for monetization on that video by that guy. It's not a mandate, dude. It's yeah, not a mandate. So that's that's what I want to add. I, I um, mean, you can always an... have multiple things. Sorry, uh, I'll complete yeah. it. Uh, you can always have so in order to amplify your own content, right? Essentially, if you see that, how do you amplify your content? Your am your content is being amplified by creators, by content creators. Uh, now, giving you a very small example here, I play <coughs> FIFA, right? FIFA is copyrightable content right. in, in the game, right? But FIFA does not strike any creator when they are kind of playing it and streaming it on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, wherever. Hmm. It's not a mandate on them. No, like if FIFA uh, objects ki main video hota na chahta then it's a mandate on YouTube ki wo mara video hota and you can't oh, do anything about it. Of course. And there's I'm another so, example yeah. uh, uh, similar to yours. The music which comes out these days on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I was going like, to get to that. We, they, it is in their benefit of yeah. the producers of the composers that their get music more people to but, listen to um, popular yeah. on these platforms honestly yeah. going by the right? instagram reels i don't know why so, would anybody copyright see, those uh, shitty yeah. moves on but, uh, sad no, songs i'm not talking about the moves i'm talking about the background music no you but need to again, learn right? we, you need uh, to learn that there's a difference uh, so right now we're talking about youtube right yeah youtube so first there's a there are differences between as you mentioned instagram and youtube they're very different mm. uh, when it comes to ip rights so for youtube um uh, yes, once you reach a certain number of uh, subscribers, um, your whatever video that you share, upload, it is cross-checked. But that also goes for people who do not have even one subscriber. Yeah, the cross referencing right. will be done against yes, any video anyone. that is uploaded. But, but at the, the same protection time, of being in that uh, hmm. protection of getting your uh, right to object to a problem will only come after getting after the, getting subscribers. Yeah. Right, thousand uh, subscribers. But Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> you you could start monetizing after thousand okay. subscribers and okay. four thousand watch hours, basically. Right. So when you're starting to monetize as as, uh, as a publisher on mm -hmm. a platform, is when you kind of start getting those privileges of having the copyright strike down. Uh, I mean, um, the option for you to kind of do that. And that then you is associate the, a content ID with each content. Piece so that, that is the right you get from YouTube. Yes. Regardless of that, even if you have zero subscribers and you have your own original video up on YouTube and someone ends up copying it, you still have the rights to go after yes. them. So that is there. Through YouTube or through courts? Through courts or huh. by yourself okay. also. Okay. YouTube gives you that opportunity once you reach, as you mentioned, a thousand subscribers. But that doesn't mean that you do not have um, any rights on your video. But you these have days, videos. every um, um, such platform has a takedown uh, policy. Yes, yeah. they do. Uh, because they do. of uh, these you can report it. the courts. Yes. Absolutely. You can they, report they are very, them. very uh, quick uh, in, in taking down uh, yes. content. Because yes. uh, otherwise they would be liable if right. they don't take action. Then it's for a, a long road that long they, they'll also have to take. They'll go to court and then you'll have to comply with an order. Mm. And uh, you had mentioned reaction videos. If you would notice, um, 
those reaction videos when they do play a certain video there are bits and pieces of it right um either again no one would actually go and seek permission from um the owner jinka wo reaction video okay, banana, idea right? over here so, and i the word over here is substantial yes i was word coming to that word is substantially you have created your own work yes right? majority of used, it is yours used bits yeah. and pieces from here and there which should not be substantial part of the other work yes i think right? the principle so over the there is, is substantial i that think is the fair principle use. yeah so pr- uh, mm. the fact that anything can be classified as fair use will come after no, a certain even principle after, even beyond fair use it, uh, It, it should happens. be tra- creation should not be stopped. It mm-hmm. should be transformative, I believe. Transformative. Um, and like the principles that one, it shouldn't bring loss to the uh, to the original uh, person, like the person who was who created the original art. Like What kind of loss are you talking about? So, so let let's say yeah, I give you an let's say you create a video, mm-hmm. and that What, video uh, where I was coming from. So uh, only on that yeah. one point, not to stop the creation process. of not just one person but the community hmm. uh this law is not too stringent even yeah. beyond fair use people can use others contents unless you don't use others contents substantially yep. right you take inspiration from them and that's the word which is thrown off uh, very uh, like uh, like uh, way way too many times hmm. uh, but it's we can discuss that we can adjudicate and that on case by case basis mm-hmm. but remember that we use someone else's work in a way that it's not the primary part of your own work exactly um my i can for i back to yeah like i um, will, let's say for example i'll take a name here right um uh, multiple uh, take a name here tanmay for that mm-hmm. matter tanmay but does reaction videos mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the substantial part of his videos are today the memes that are being created those are memes that have been created by another person mm-hmm. or another right how does that amount to fair use so that's uh, so i'll i'll if we take that case there are a, um, a a bunch of videos which are brought together for for them to review on right mm-hmm. um the bigger part is that the entire video is about reviewing those videos exactly. and bits and pieces are of uh, individual people yep. and uh, and he does give credit to the source and credits number 2 and to be very honest everyone's posting on these social media platforms with that inherent um um acknowledgement that this is going to be reposted and republished yeah. right uh, so this is the underlying ideology behind that mm-hmm. and number 4 i think um the small creators who are just posting one or two videos and those become popular will not take action ultimately so it belong right. yeah. will not take action and cannot take action it's contrary like they themselves have put it out it there is contrary and in my so opinion, everyone has honest. a right it's contrary to no. to the fact that we are talking about uh, fair use mm. it's fine i understand the so fair it certainly falls under fair use yeah. i understand psyche. but even beyond that correct correct mm. i understand psyche of the creator mm. of course as a small creator today or a beginning creator i would also want my video to be reviewed by tanmay but very simple but is that fair use is something i'm just talking about legally in terms of that because you guys are experts on that i'm not as a creator i can definitely legally we can definitely challenge it mm-hmm. of Got course it. we can okay. because we have rights it is so if i uh, today but if i make a video de facto de facto model of a uh, of a platform today mm-hmm. either instagram facebook or youtube is shareability Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you're not sharing the content piece, you're but, not getting visibility. Mm-hmm. But the shareability How is is the law. So my question is: Is the law so obsolete to kind of be contrary into the fact that today content works in a very different way, and we need to change it, or is the law? I'll right? give you an instance for this. It's, I'm not an instance. It's if evolving. I give you an example, if an individual comes to me and says, "I created one video." and that video is being used by someone else now i don't want that he has 100% right to stop the other exactly 100% i can take it to court and that video will be taken down the, the, the next day but i think the um, distinction needs to be but, drawn to the fact but that but the uh, what what's happening now is that everyone is publishing with an idea of uh, shareability uh, and number 2 
everyone's yeah. diluting their copyrights uh, these days quite a lot by yeah. permitting anyone and everyone to share so uh, let, without I, permission i think so le, le, the distinction your, needs to be drawn the fact that you might be putting out content for the purpose of being shared by as many number of people as possible mm. Hmm. But IP doesn't come into the picture when it is being shared. IP comes into the picture when somebody is claiming that it so is not their creation it. in the first place. So yes. it's not really about getting shared. No, it's about somebody claiming claiming a uh, creatorship of that particular piece not, of art. Not necessarily. Even without acknowledgement uh, that this is my creation or the other person's creation, if you use someone else's creation without uh, without proper permission, yeah, e- easily an action can. Yes, be because say if you because have a YouTube page and otherwise uh, everyone will use everyone else's work with the credit. Yeah, like if you no, I'm not saying. Work, this is no, else. I understand what you're saying. It's about you're saying that it's uh, the idea of sharing, right? If the two of us we share, um, not share, we both have our respective YouTube pages, right? Um, I pick your video. uh with the point of sharing it but i post it on my youtube channel and i am gaining out of it mm-hmm. so th- that is misuse yeah but it's also sharing no but then so youtube you see has, the point youtube has means to kind of control that as well uh, you put out a copyright strike what happens is the monetization flows to you versus so the creator so here we can do the same thing with youtube also this was just by means of an example what yeah. i'm saying is there's a very thin line between sharing it and misusing it mm. right Got it. so then uh, the owner then again it's uh, what lies it, it's an analysis mm. that is what is this is based on mm. his view and my view might be different, different when it comes to a video being used okay. misused or uh, if it's uh, fair use our uh, ideas might differ our analysis might differ and that is where the court plays a role mm. right no, they decide about hypotheticals right no i'll right. give you a no, simple in general, example here both of you hmm. you tell me right uh let let's say me or anshul we right. we both are playing cricket o7 on uh, uh st- i think he streamed it or i have streamed it let let it be the case that one of us has streamed it now i am also playing it and i have recorded my video so let's say for example both of us put out a 2 minute video where Sachin Tendulkar on the same ball in that game is hitting a six. I have kind of uh, uh, streamed it, and Anshul has recorded this video at his home, and we both put out the video there. Mm-hmm. Both of us have exact same times when, let's say, fourteen point three overs pe Sachin ne chakka mara hai mm-hmm. uspe. Ye fifteen sixteen over tak jata aur har ball pe ham logon ne ekdam exact same representation inside the game hai. how do you fight that or how do you uh, uh differentiate that you just that? need one small clarification yeah. over here you're taking video and uh-huh. you are streaming, streaming it like with that. yourself uh, no 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 watch. i'm not streaming uh-huh. it with myself no no cams here oh, right i've streamed streaming. it let's say for example i've privately streamed it mm. i've cut out a video piece out of it two minute mm. video piece i've put it mm. strikingly or strikingly similar video not even strikingly absolute uh, absolute copied video mm. but original mm-hmm. content created mm-hmm. by anshul has also been put out on youtube mm-hmm. or any other platform per se how do you differentiate there coexist what a live match right no 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 oh, i'm talking about a game, game. Uh, so there's a game. Okay. there's a concept of coexistence hmm. that also takes place okay. um again either of the parties can take an action um and why if, would they take an action because it's his original creation and my original creation but then one party wouldn't know this about the other party true, right true. so we can challenge it okay. and um, should the end result be that both of them have original rights hmm. then you coexist okay so there is and a concept another, of coexistence yes, yeah another example for this is to reach the same solution you can take different routes yeah. in music as well like people might come up with similar tunes mm. but yes. they might sound similar but they've taken a different route and if they can only explain how they've reached to that same conclusion uh, they both can uh, claim protection yes uh, because but again musicians definitely use same samples for mm-hmm. everything i mean when they're creating a lot mm-hmm. of djs a lot of uh, producers today use same samples they just kind of 
play with those samples and put on their layers over it so that that is one example but DJs, samples are freely DJs, available DJs uh, when it comes to DJs that's a very big example when it comes to copyright because um they use music which has been created by n number of people and mm. they come up with their own music so here again uh, as you had mentioned uh, what is the extent of use when it comes to the other party's uh, creation that is what matters a dj would put in a lot of efforts he would put in his beats uh, i am not very familiar yeah, with that sure. right so uh, his own music that should overpower the other party's creation and that is how you claim a right right and okay I, I ambiguous a, still ambiguous i just have it, a it, thought that i would like to share and then we can see where this goes um, so let's talk about two competitive uh, pages or Correct. two competitive mm-hmm. handles mm-hmm. and they're both in the same business mm-hmm. and i let's say it's me and anshul i created something and then you know anshul has borrowed some parts of whatever that so what, i had what kind of work it is it, it okay, largely let's... depends on uh, it. is it a musical work is it a literary work let's let's assume that it's it's a it's a poem that i'd written Okay. and i had i had presented it in a particular fashion with a particular with a with a kind of music hmm. and now i am a content creator i wanted to grow, go viral and i wanted to be reshared and the so, music was by you even the music is yours yeah even the music let's, let's say that okay. it's, it's a company that i'm running so even the music is by me hmm. and i wanted to be reshared i wanted to be used by i wanted to be seen by everybody hmm. he sees it too he shares it too but then he makes something which is very similar to what i had made you know let's talk about let's say the font was similar or the tune was similar and he is a competitor he's not just a fan or he's not just somebody who's appreciative so mm-hmm. where does this leave me he just simple. he just defined coca cola where largely Pepsi, it's yeah. someone someone else's work right. so it is it is it's a, it's a inspiration i was just going But to give the... you an example <clears throat> of uh, cold drinks that we see okay uh-huh. Yeah, so there's. Is there an example? Thumbs like up and coke and blue. You see it all it of that. Uh, yeah. And a song <laughs> was created yeah. on it, right? Yeah, right. So, <laughs> right. So, to, to what extent can you stretch it, right? Was the entire poem a song now, or was so were my, just a few words? So I, I know how to added. answer this. Actually, I know how to answer this. Uh, okay, so you came up with a poem. There was music in it. Uh, a different way of writing or typing, right. whatever that you called it. what is it that uh, hooked people on your creation that could be you know to each their own right it could so, be my um, voice it could be the music it could be the text it could be what it has you know like majority of the people okay let's let's look at this that ways did the person copy that um, okay so i'll give you coca cola as example right so you have cold drinks which are the same we color use different ways like you advertise coca cola yeah. now way too much no, let's talk <laughs> about use a smaller uh, player tampa <laughs> cola maybe right so you see that the concept is the same but people still have their preferences right why because one of them stand out for the taste ek bahut meetha hai ek bahut ye hai wo hai log aise karte the difference right? but okay. even i can't but i've heard people say this so uh, you know where i'm going with this i get it yeah there is something that pe- you hook people on when it comes to your creation mm-hmm. right did some did the other party copy that thing is the person trying to uh, gain followers or misuse it using your biggest um using what is the word that i'm looking at um creation your uh, no w- no no <laughs> Okay, I think it's, I'm clouding now. Uh, your biggest uh, you step that you've taken. No, yes, the biggest step that you've taken in your creation. So right. someone is using that. Right. That is where you can challenge it. Okay. And you Fair. analyze this on a very case to case basis. To be very honest, hmm. uh, throw n number of hypotheticals or examples over here. Uh, but the primary point to remember, so that uh, this becomes um, um, informative as well, hmm. is that use. is possible but it cannot be the primary aspect of your creation yep. right. right it mm-hmm. could be an inspiration is something which is not a legal term as such uh, and the, uh, the the term would be uh, substantial mm-hmm. um, and uh, you can't come up and say oh according to me maybe this is substantial and that's not substantial it's not someone some individuals assessment of what substantial is a great example when, of when you when you create 
then underplay uh, what substantial is for you. Yeah. Right. Right. But maybe start from there. But what we see in social media nowadays is that obviously there's a lack of original content being out there, and people will just repurpose whatever is. Existed before. Wrong, my friend. I, no, I'm talking in terms of <laughs> things that are there. But you know, with. actually, before we get to it's that, it's hopping I... onto a trend. Today, social media platforms work with the basis on numbers and data. Very simple, yeah. right? A trend. Let's say, for example, X Y Z music piece is getting shot in a certain way, in a slow motion way, gets one million views. As a creator, I want one million views. I am trying to do that same thing in my ins. I am taking an inspiration from that reel. I am going to do it that way. Now, essentially, when I do it, I see numbers on to it. When five people do it and see numbers on to it, then five thousand people copy that. Right. It's not copying again. I am sorry to be using that word. It's simple that I am taking a spin. I. It's not like I am a same. And in fact, even in the same scenery, let's say for example, go to the same place and get it. Do it the same way. I'm still creating it on my own. It's original content. It's not copied. So that's what exactly I was getting at. That there is a difference between something being actual, something being absolutely original. Hmm. He even the guitar in that music was by you. Like hmm. you played it with hmm. your own hands. And on the other hand, you will have a creator like, yes, Yash Raj Mukhate or who be name unka. He basically picks up a dialogue from a uh, from a, any of the popular dialogues that are there oh, yeah. in mm-hmm. cinema or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Rashi Rasode me thi and things. Yeah. Like that. Rasode me kaun tha? <laughs> oh my God, that, that was dialogue. epic. That dialogue becomes the substantial, <laughs> the most substantial part of his new creation. It does, it not, does not. It does not. It does not. So understand it does this. Not. Hmm. That dialogue lyrics was is a part of the composition. Correct. Right? Correct. And correct. you might say this is what the lyrics is. Where he gets it from again is is we can say it's not uh, someone else's music, someone else's lyrics. This is. Um, in any case, a statement like this is not protectable. As Correct. Such. Yeah. Absolutely. जैसे एक example आया था बीच में अर्नब गोस्वामी tried to register. Nation wants to know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, can't drugs drugs you can't do it. You can't. You can't do it. Right. But I don't understand this. I was with a lot after of after you. Yeah. yeah. So when we say that that is not original uh, with Yashraj Mukharjee because he picked that up that is original, time. bro. And that's no like you are saying that you are saying that is original and uh, in no way that mu- that piece of art can be blocked. It's but a flawed no, example. He's first of all, it's, it's it's a dialogue piece mm-hmm. which has been created into a musical piece. Mm-hmm. So, so similarly, music becomes original, mm-hmm. dialogues become original. Mm-hmm. However, you may use it again. Substantial use. Yeah, but when I see the example of All India Bhakchod uh, making a uh, making a spoof on Doom Three, hmm. that in that I neither there is a uh, neither there is a co- uh, coincidence of characters, neither there is uh, anything. It's probably the plot being shown in a certain manner hmm. to. Uh, Depict to, pa- to, to glorify uh, so again. Non- uh, nonsense there might be it. consent. Uh, behind the curtains. Huh, of what course. Happened? What happened with that yeah. instance? I just wanted. But nothing happened. Like, like was it? What they, is? Was it struck they, they down? Was it it wasn't. Down? So that's why I'm saying that they there might be. It. They, were, they couldn't yeah, release yeah. it because they couldn't get the consent in the first place. Yeah. So uh, they couldn't do it. But right? there is a but difference honestly, if of. I can, uh, if I, if I can just talk about this, that was before the pandemic. Of Had it been after the pandemic, any I any. No, no. It does not play. Pandemic does not play a part here. The only difference that's the time when the there's a rise. There's a rise rise after the after the. Plus, also, I just want to add to this. um, Copying does not necessarily mean uh, from a particular individual or an entity. It can be from it can be words from the dictionary also that you cannot claim a right on. Yeah. There are a lot of examples. Um, people who people, for example, they open shops and they come up with names. Um, and you might see I can't really name those shops because I kind of worked on it. So, um, but there are um, there are these very famous shops for jewelry. and uh, they use a particular name and you will see n number of those shops and no, no one has a right on them on those terms nobody can claim a right there was a can we for a second talk about when does your right in your as a, as a as a as somebody who uh, has protected their own copyright when till how long uh, do you have the protection when does that right 60, extinguish 60 years after uh, the death of the person 60 years after the death of yeah. the person right 
the legal heirs also benefit yes. from the uh, yes. the right so i i the exception there are two sorry, exceptions over here sorry to cut you need to finish what i said because this is something which a lot of people fall behind um picking words from the dictionary is, is something that you can't do it you can't claim a right on those terms the very for example there's apple right um you're using it f- not for the dictionary meaning he's the the owner is not selling fruits it's for technology that's fine you can use it for that um but you should avoid doing it it's difficult to claim ip rights on but it like, this is informative word, in, you will so the, the the point over here is individual word maybe can be a trademark yeah. cannot be a copyright right. an individual a copyright. Work, yeah. uh, word word cannot I, be a yeah. copyright yeah, yeah. Uh, trademark may be yes generic yeah. words should not be used so that's 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 the See, point copyright we're trying to when i here. think when we talk about trademark we we'll need to talk about that the that you know the, the goods and services are divided in different classes and what i get that's what protected i was saying under, uh, yeah, yes you, the, what is it on. being used for yeah. uh, it's not being used for the direct dictionary meaning yeah. so you need to avoid that um, that's what a lot of people do for example if it's the alcohol industry people come up with um, alcohol brand aims which are related to getting drunk or um alcohol being used you know so people use very similar words and then they fall behind when it comes to ip rights a simple example is you can't call your juice company juice exactly yeah. <laughs> juice, <laughs> juice, <laughs> juice corner <laughs> agar aap apne juice yeah. ki yeah. dukaan ko juice corner bol rahe hain to aap aap take kar payenge then to fir ho jayega that you claim a right on the dictionary ka term only ki main apple hai mere brand ka name main fruits bech raha hu yes there's a, there's a lot goes into when you start and i think we were discussing this in the beginning as well that when you start consider your intellectual property as one of the core values a core principle for your organization or for Absolutely. your startup or even when you're creating individually for yourself mm-hmm. um because you don't want a situation later on 5 years down the line 10 years down the line when you become big then you have to change it hmm. right because no one is going to take action against you until you're big right right that, that really strikes and you don't have to is your and an individual does not have to take an action yeah. against you in the content creator just because you exist yeah so yeah. in the content creator space i i i want to know that one who are who who is considered as big in the first place like what is the distinction between yeah when does a content creator become, become an influencer, influencer. Yeah. When you're big, yeah you are big when your competitor thinks you're big because you, court has no uh, 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 no um, comment on this right we won't have any comment on this because it totally depends on who you're competing with so what your industry is what your space is actually it's um, more of uh, recognition that plays a very big role uh, when it comes to ip rights right i mm-hmm. think you will agree with this mm-hmm. recognition and um, public knowledge that is so important it and it can happen overnight there there are multiple cases where people have gained recognition overnight and they've won matters so it really doesn't matter like if they're gaining recognition and then winning a matter because it's like during during the they, case they they uh, no uh there was recognition overnight and then there were cases being filed against them and they ended up filing cases there's so many matters that have taken place so it doesn't matter if your company is there since the past 20 years and you've not gained even one uh, uh acknowledgement for example or if you're there since the past 2 weeks time it does matter but why does it matter because it shows recognition so that is very important Okay but and that is probably I, why uh when we started uh, the podcast you'd mentioned about 1000 subscribers that youtube actually yeah. gives you why because that's recognition so yeah, shit so is right. like is it like 1000 subscribers and you're a uh, you're an influencer let's As talk about who industry. is an influencer like yeah. blue like, tick <laughs> wali hai aapki profile sure but then that's how that's not that's not no a, that's yeah. not really of an influencer yeah, so l- what l- is l- please share blue, with us what tick, do you think blue tick is absolutely for the fact that you are being i mean you are being recognized as an individual who is representing himself or herself so if you go to instagram mm-hmm. and you can also request for a verification yeah, yeah. you just don't have accept to accept it you just have to try our policies are out Right? Yeah, you're representing a community. <laughs> okay. You're representing a community, and you're impactful enough for yeah. that community. You so share. So, what comprises your... impact in this case? Like, if I have, if like, Anshul tried and did not work, certain so number of need? certain number of they, subscribers. No, no, they don't need subscribers. No, 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 no,
Really? I don't uh, no, I don't you did try. <laughs> 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 so for the uh, so far as Instagram is concerned, when you want to apply for a blue tick, you're just supposed to give the references of the articles, yes, or the videos or so. Let's say, for pick. example, unbiased articles which are representing you as a community leader will be considered. It will not get hundred percent approved there. Nobody knows. even in the system of meta where this instagram verification team sits out of okay. or who this instagram team sit uh, is it's simple everybody applies for it it's a third party tool as like mark zuckerberg has mentioned multiple times and a lot of instagram employees also kind of uh, exclaim that don't come to us for verification it's a third party organization and a third party tool which recognizes this you there never know but there are quirks around it because mai samdeesh ka wo interview dekh raha tha samdeesh ka tha ya lallan top pe tha kisi ka so uh, this guy had requested a chief minister ki meko blue tick dilwa dijiye hmm. and wo chief oh, minister ka hi tha samdeesh ka tha shayad oh. and the chief minister got it done so it's not that there is not a way around it certainly a chief there minister is, has the part there are a lot of ways around it i've seen it happen can't say it out loud <laughs> but yeah <laughs> <laughs> I would I would beg to differ there. So Sandeesh, for example, as a profile or as an individual, is Sandeesh का blue tick नहीं था. Sandeesh के उस पे guest था. उसका था. I believe. नहीं Sandeesh ने कुछ से उसने जो बोला है. I don't remember what he said there. But if it's him, if it's him, then he is representing the journalistic community. One, two, he has been able to carve a niche out. Three, there are. there are n number of articles which validate that he is leading the independent media space in the country right and hence the body would have acknowledged it and would have said that hey this guy is influencing a lot of people in their opinions hence becomes like a valid profile hmm. what does a blue tick do first of all understand it does not do anything about validation oh, or oh, yeah, yeah, okay. perceptual <laughs> validation <laughs> परसेप्शनल वैलिडेशन है कि वो फक्त इज एन इन्फ्लुएंसर नहीं दस फॉलोअर वाले को भी ब्लूटेक मिलेगा अगर वो अपने वर्क को और अपने इन्फ्लुएंस को रिकग्नाइज करवा सकता है एंड इट इज आउट देयर इन द पब्लिक डोमेन वेरी सिंपल आल्सो व्हेन दे सडनली डोंट टेक न्यूज़ शो आर्टिकल्स <laughs> oh but like yeah how uh, Jenna Aniston when she joined Instagram and she was uh, probably the first person to break all records because within 24 hours she reached a certain amount of subscribers but when she joined she joined with a blue tick mm-hmm. with zero subscribers huh just saying of course because huh. she is an influential personality yeah. who's credible enough to kind of been shown yeah. there right so if i try to now infringe on to jennifer aniston as a profile i can't mm-hmm. because she has a blue tick and that only serves the purpose that you are original in this is conversation ko blue tick se hata ke wapas influencer pe aata hai this is becoming influencer koi definition nahi hai nahi yaar influencer ka koi definition nahi hai influencer kya hai everyone can be a creator you are in, an influencer to me law. bro very simple so no, in, in no this s- friend circle of ours if you are able to create a, or if you are able to get a decision passed by 10 friends you are an you're influencer. an influencer very yeah. simple so, there is a special protection for it oh under law <coughs> <laughs> yes you just everyone who's creating needs to prove their reputation mm. reputation of their work as so that's the criteria uh, there is no such definition as influencers you don't get brownie po- points for that in court mm-hmm. um it doesn't take you long of course yeah. everybody is uh, a creator in the eyes Definitely. of law so I, it's I, not I'm really about, everyone's on the same uh, correct it's not really about like you having so 10 followers a passive influencer uh, copies a, 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 a work of a person who has only 10 followers mm-hmm. that's still infringement yeah, yeah but is. like so of course everyone's at at the same level so yeah. creation uh, is equal for everyone that's what mm-hmm. nyarika and i were discussing yesterday that mm-hmm. it's not about the numbers it's about how culty or cult is yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> because Ek- we are all content creators if you have a profile on instagram you are posting anything on that you are creating content mm-hmm. and at what point does your content change uh, you know like create an impression on others who are looking at your content mm. and either move them inspire them kuch kuch feeling ho andar se ki oh this is nice or this is ugh. Hmm. I'll tell you a very, very, very uh, interesting example. Uh, I'm not, I'm not remembering the name of the celebrity, 
but some celebrity took a picture, uh, not of herself, but of some uh, some scene, and she posted it. Uh, somehow it reached. Uh, she it it was part of a uh, stock images ka website. Mm, Getty Images. Ah. Whatever it's called, but got yes, it, got it. Uh, there was a there was a website and it was uh, there uh, in stock images. Hmm. No, actually, it happened vice versa. She took it from that stock images image ka website Haan. and posted it. But she did she purchase it? It was free. Achha, okay. It was free, and uh, actually, this website took action against this celebrity. If, of right? course, because even if it's purchase free, it. they have the it's liberty. Content. It's it's their content, hmm. right? And they have control over their content. So free does not mean that it it's, was it's, free. It's, it can be used. It was in free any, for other people to use it, or were like they everyone, using it everyone. as part of their website? Uh, there's a difference right because if we have content. no no because if if there's a website uh, they they provide images for other people to use and it's free mm. then anyone can actually anyone use can it anyone can use it but in what way it's used they so still have control if, over it yeah. right you don't lo- leave uh, the now, right over how uh, uh, how a work is used Right. right, that is true. So but free is like even if a person is singing. But uh, that depends on see when you um actually download such images, you always have this terms and conditions. Watermark be होता है. De- depends. हाँ. Uh, but अगर वो free है तो watermark नहीं होगा उसमें. Hmm. So how are you using it? That is of no concern. No, 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 when it, it comes to the terms and con- so, it depends you know, on the terms and conditions. If you're abiding those, a that's different. Hai. Assignment के बाद भी, so that's a legal term. Legal term. You can't claim a right, or you're not claiming a right. Exactly. But you yeah. are, if it's da- uh, damaging hmm. the work itself, hmm. or it's damaging the creator's reputation. Of course. Then you or have control. Or you're pretending to be of the course. creator so yourself. So anyone, a creator huh. can say that even if I I've posted it, even if it's there for everyone to use, but you don't use it in a way that it damages the content or me. Right, the like misrepresentation you can't use. Right, na? right. It's a sort of misrepresentation that X Y Z celebrity hmm. is saying that this is what she clicked versus hmm, hmm, hmm. she got it from X Y Z platform. Got Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All of intellectual property is pretty much creator centric. Whoever creates it has it as her at his or her disposal that whether they want they want to enforce a protection over it or hmm. not. One hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like the stickers and images, for example, that we have on WhatsApp. Someone has created those. Anyone can use it on WhatsApp. But tomorrow, if there's a movie being, um, if if you have a movie um, that you're creating and you use that, uh, there might be an IP infringement there. So it depends, right? There That's might be the an IP thing. infringement if you're creating a GIF no. or anything. If you have it, you're using it on WhatsApp, hmm. for example. So anyone is free to use it. There's a limitation of use. Um, that it's limited to WhatsApp. But I can't. You can't claim it for, it for, for my own rights. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's say like you know, my card print. करती हूँ और मैंने वही same uh, two puppies kissing each other छाप दिया yeah. and I'm making uh, money out of it. Yeah. Then then that's that's right. the violation. Then then the uh, the original creator can definitely take action. Right? Seems very much similar But, to an NFT like. नहीं नहीं मतलब again again let's say I I NFT want to I want to get this ambiguous answer out यार yeah, very simply put. When does a creation become an intellectual property? That's the first question. The second. Creation for copyright. That is what. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Good. The second being the example that you've given. If I create, let's say, for example, a vertical video out of all those stickers on WhatsApp, it's a creation that I have done. Yes. Then you can't claim it, right? No, That's yeah, exactly what I was saying. That. Video is showing those stickers. Ha huh, so I am I've put again, out a, is, and it's a, I don't again, think it's a very very good example yeah, to, uh, to uh, get into um, yeah you'll have to really get into the what where when how so it's yeah. on a case to case basis absolutely and like 100% IP is, is as confusing as possible IP. no no not not confusing at all it's an absolutely analysis I'm telling you, so um intellectual property is the most simplest part to understand in your business yep. and i'll tell you first thing you need to do is have a mark which is distinctive to yourself as per a few conditions jo law mein hai speak with someone about it um and protect it mm-hmm. and jo aapki creations hai be wary of where that creation is heading just don't let your creation be and uh, be be in the wild and be mm-hmm. used in whichever way it, mm-hmm. uh, way uh, everyone wishes to use it if you have created something then see where it's heading but right? if this... it's if it's if it's taking a form where 
that it was not the intent of that creation then you can, you very well have the right to uh, stop it as well i think mine is because so it's absolutely how, simple because of how everything is available now there is a concept of ip check so everyone should go for it uh, you should actually uh, how do you do that you have to so that's the Trade lawyer check, thing is it trademarks or Copyright. designs of patents everything you have it no, you, but you, it's, you can it's again, it's, it's, again it's, it's not that, uh, it's not 100% maybe, yeah. it's not yes but you can actually rule out the issues you can rule out the fact that no okay this mark is not available then you come up with another one how do you do that Uh, so there's a call ip india dot ip go. india and, and then you go anyone can go it. on that website and check whether but there's that a common law is yes. available or not that's there um, and there are common law searches so there are different ways of doing it um so of course go con- you should contact an ip lawyer for that that is a advised um what happens is it's not 100% but then it rules out all the problems that you might it, see it roughly rules out and i feel that one can do it without the uh, lawyer as well let's say you know you're going 100%. to uh, you, yes you can to, let's say i'm going to uh, trademark uh, i'm i'm registering a, i'm thinking of a trademark hmm. called wakil name hmm. i can just see ki trademark act mein kya classes hain jiske andar meri goods ya services aa rahe hain i can go on that yes. website i can type wakil and i can see aur kya kya marks hain jo registered hai with the this this comes wakil. to uh, this is for trademark trademark yeah uh it's different when it comes to designs it is different when it comes to patent uh different different ways of doing it a uh, trademarks is the easiest where yeah. anyone can go on the website and, and look for marks yeah. but then again that also depends it comes um with experience because how we do it is we also look for marks which can sound similar right. or can be similar so you look for those also you don't just copy paste the mark that you want to look for and then you you don't look for just identical marks yeah. because that is not how ip works yeah. i mean if right? i have to look for wakil lane i will type v a q i l as well probably. it does not matter phonetic similarity phonetic similarity still, is uh, there uh, you will still be barred if someone else has wakil which someone yeah. cannot be original i think <laughs> yes all, just be that all these disputes you, you, come you, to life you, because exactly come up original, with your own no marks legislation is not stopping you from from being open to taking uh, inspiration, inspiration again from other work yeah. as well that's where exactly the not. conflicts come in place yeah. now like yes oh, people don't know you, where to stop if, 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 if being people don't know where to so, stop yeah, that's if, the problem yeah if yeah. being original was so contentious or let's say for example so dear then you wouldn't have been doing a podcast exactly yeah. so yeah. i'm yeah. saying like, exactly that you've, that you've taken inspiration of a podcast as a format Like you're doing a legal podcast, which yeah. is fine. There are multiple legal podcasts as well. It's just that you have a different spin on it, which is original to your creation or your mm-hmm. ima- imagination and creativity. So as simple as that. It's never plain black and white, in my opinion. You can't term original. originality of a piece in plain black and white ever you can because absolutely but nobody can open a yeah. joint podcast right now and run it legally because i own the ip to it right i now. can i can open a gavel podcast and uh, do the same yeah thing. exactly so mm. so far as uh, the work is concerned well, so what let's discuss what you have protection for today hmm. the, the interesting <laughs> interesting yeah. for you yeah. no absolutely. correct you're a creator man yeah. so uh, interesting for you today you have a channel called adjourned yeah right so that's your name that's your first trademark um then you have uh, rights over what we are speaking about today your questions mm. right yes people can ask the questions if someone has you put in put out a script in front of you someone uses that script line to line is the violation of your copyright yeah. because you ask those questions that's, that's part of your script yeah right you put it down on a on a piece of paper you put it down on an ipad and that becomes your copyright now because those are yeah. your questions and no one can copy them by, word by word of course yes um so this is your second right um what else do we see here well the if somebody does an exact same setup i think that then that no again. setup if i have the same no, 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 no. setup have the same be... uh, uh, dampeners you I'm, actually see that on the roads what what, what <laughs> the name um, yeah i i'm not going to point it uh, out you know you know it now you know it now. <laughs> now but uh, yes what protects you so it's better to claim that it's stolen rather than <laughs> no i say now, i copied no. it you bet what you do now is please uh, spin it yeah yes exactly piche piche wale mein bhi yahi hai 
ंग I mean, honestly, like so. The idea. Uh, of, no, 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 I'm sorry, no, but uh, simple thing yeah. over here is to see the word you're using, whether they're commercially exploiting that word or not. Yes. Yes. So if they're not NDMC, I don't sell T-shirts. Exactly. They don't sell uh, services or goods. They are not selling services. Brilliant idea. Because they're into services. Right? <laughs> NDMC T-shirts. <laughs> they're selling services in a way. They no? are not selling services. They are they're as a governmental services. body. As a governmental body, they're my taxes go to them, and they're that's a sale. It's not no, direct. Service. It's not direct. It's not direct. So it's if you're not commercial, commercial exploiting huh? your yeah. own name, hmm. then you can't protect it. That's the simple answer to this. But anyone can file a case against it. Adjourned anything. again is a dictionary word, but you're not using it, it for, for that. You're uh, using it for, for a, a podcast, podcast, so it's yeah. okay to use it. That's again an Absolutely. example. Absolutely. So these are your largely yeah. your uh, your rights that you have today in front of you, and you actually look around yeah. and um, uh, you you maybe get a lot more. Mm-hmm. let's say for example for a beginning creator right mm. what are some of the most common law practices that they can learn about while protecting their content if it's a digital creator yeah mm. sabse pehle for any business ip is for every mm. any business uh, top 5 kya hoga wo apna trademark banao usko register karane ki zarurat nahi hai use karo diligently documentation But please उसे पहले चेक करवा लो इफ इट्स अवेलेबल दैट इज वेरी ओके दैट सेम वेबसाइट दैट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गेट इट चेकड इफ इट्स अवेलेबल गेट इट चेक और चेक इट योरसेल्फ डू योर ड्यू डिलीजेंस बिफोर यू क्रिएट दैट पर्टिकुलर एंड ट्रेडमार्क कैन बी अ वर्ड एंड अ डिजाइन लोगो एंड यू माइट से दिस इज माय ओरिजिनल वर्क बट समवन एल्स इज ऑलरेडी यूजिंग दैट वर्ड इज अ प्रॉब्लम राइट सो बिफोर यू स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोइटिंग योर इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी फॉर मनी प्लीज डू योर ड्यू डिलीजेंस at least on your trademark part yes. because that's the name of your business and you'll always be known by that so that's one that's number one hmm. number two is aap apna copyright jo banta hai you don't have to do anything hmm. you publish you, you have your right but um, be be aware of where that work is can ending. i okay. okay one thing i want to add to the first point um, a lot of people i'm pretty sure would have come to you also with this question hamare paas company company registration hai क्या ये ट्रेडमार्क प्रोटेक्शन नहीं हो रहा हमारा दे हैव दिस क्वेश्चन विच इज नॉट दैट इज अज अ डिफरेंस अगर ट्रेडमार्क है किसी का एंड इट इज समन एल्सेस कंपनीज नेम देन आई एज अ ट्रेडमार्क ओनर कैन गेट दैट नेम स्ट्रिक्ट एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली सो देयर इज कंपनी रजिस्ट्रेशन इज डिफरेंट and trademark, trademark is, different. is different so if to, today you have a company mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't mean ki us company ke naam se aapka trademark chal raha hai registration mm-hmm. hai so this is something which people really no, need to know absolutely. so when uh, the first point where you get your trademark mm-hmm. checked you need to make sure 
दैट यू गेट दिस आइडिया आउट ऑफ योर हेड की कंपनी तो है हमारे पास तो ट्रेडमार्क क्यों कराना है वही होगा मेरा कंपनी का नाम मेरा ट्रेडमार्क इज समथिंग इज दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज यू यू नॉट ऑन द स्ट्रांगेस्ट फुट इफ दैट्स योर पॉइंट ऑफ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो ट्रेडमार्क कॉपीराइट uh if you are an online uh creator um if you have a website then have privacy policies in place mm-hmm. have your terms of use in place mm-hmm. they people think it's a matter of procedure mm-hmm. it is not, not yeah. privacy poli- policy and your terms of use are what are going to protect you correct what is just going to be uh in your in your expenses maybe in a few thousands mm-hmm. might cost you in lakhs and crores later and yep. you can just have a check box there saying that i agree to these terms and conditions for yes. users yes. right yes yes so please think a lot about what your terms of use are don't pull them off internet do it for your maybe trademark or copyright copyright mm. is something that you create but your terms of use your uh, privacy policy please get them checked properly and thoroughly yeah mm. Don't uh, copy it off the internet. No, like no, people do that. You will get so yeah, many drafts. So even I have Haan. a template for um, your you uh, terms it. of use or yeah. for your privacy policy. But I don't apply that to a, every single yes. situation, right? See, every you're, single. You're calling it a template. You're every not single, saying something. Yes, every hmm. single uh, company is different. Their their uh, values are different. Their principles are different. Uh, the way way of their functioning is different. So it has to be modulated accordingly. Yeah. So right. these are, I think, are three points that you. Three points. Yes, uh, in terms of use, <laughs> privacy policy. Uh, what else can I create? See do? again, um, a lot of again because of what we have discussed, people look at what is what is the trend going on. Hmm. Majority of the people would come up with creations which have other people's work as part of it. Okay. Which people usually do, like now how things are going forward. Um, it's all it's okay if you look into permissions also again if uh, you know that you actually you want to pick up something someone else's creation for example music um anything you seek permission if you're not able to do that give credit to the uh, owner the creator like you mention it you can always do that might might not work the credits might not work but um it if you not able to get It permissions you don't know who the owner is your work is not or you don't know the owner is is not yeah uh, is not being exploited commercially this is just for your uh, your popular state you're not not earning anything out of no, it no i'm talking something. about giving credits to the people who whose creation you've picked up and you don't know who the owner is or mm-hmm. the author is so you mention it in the credits that uh, the, the <coughs> copyrights do not belong to me exactly and you just yes. mention that uh, the copyright for example if it's a song that you've used just mention that the copyright what, on the song does not no. belong copyright you have a song yeah. you taking that song from somewhere now you can't put that on youtube and say oh i don't know who the owner is but i'm going to earn out of it exactly right? i'm saying that so you, even if you unknown ha huh. even part of it i try to find you <laughs> no nice <laughs> part of it like if you pick a part yes, of it no, and just to save yourself pick, from even it even if you're picking something up you can't use it entirely without exactly. if, if you have to use it entirely yeah. you take permissions I'm permissions. I'm talking about uh, the times when you don't know where to you, go for permission. Music. Why Why do you want to take a whole um, thing? So there are times. You use non-copyright music, no? Ah, uh, so many websites. Okay, so I'm talking. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not I promoting. Have a specific <coughs> example in mind, and you're not. Uh, No, what I'm saying is I don't have an example. I am not promoting it. No, I am telling you. I am telling you that I am. Example, not to you. I am telling you that I am not promoting it. I am not promoting it. I am saying that people do not know where to stop. People don't know where we take owner. Where we take permission. And we want to use a part of it. Like, who is it? Today, how do you take owner? 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 How and you decide that you want to use maybe one paragraph out mm-hmm. of it and make a so- song out of it don't mm. don't you don't know where it's coming from and secondly that is substantial use yeah. of that particular work 
राइट एंड आपका इफ योर सॉन्ग बिकम्स पॉपुलर नाउ देन एक्शन इज ड्यू कमिंग बैक टू योर लास्ट एग्जाम्पल इन दिस अकॉर्डेंस in a in according <laughs> to this sorry in, in according sorry to that. this is ibn batuta right that's a poem but it con- got converted into a song yeah. that's a substantial use so My. i don't remember exactly what happened in that situation was it only the word or the entire poem that's number 1 oh. and who holds the right today Uh, ye is this a song which was made 60 years ago or 120 years ago because ah, as far as i remember correct. it was created uh, more than 100 years ago mm-hmm. so no one holds any right over yeah, that yeah. such creation if okay. there are legal heirs who can claim uh, such such right mm-hmm. uh, then they very well can move on, move ahead um understood mm-hmm. and the f- fifth piece of advice being chill man like relax just go ahead and create no get a lawyer <laughs> <laughs> Get a lawyer. Bang on. <laughs> I think, I think discuss point number one to four with a lawyer. Con- <laughs> <laughs> true, true, But true. I think true. I think I have a last. I I have one more question, I, which will which I will direct to you. Uh, I spoke to a couple of people who are just starting out as content creators. Or ye na legal question nii hai. This kind of like reaches out to you as a, as a human being. Thanks. Yeah, I was I, getting <laughs> bored with the law. Like <laughs> it was so you. dry. <laughs> That. When you decide to share, law से बाहर चला गया शाम को। Yeah, so when you decide to share a part of your life, hmm. आप अपनी life को कब uh, part uh, at least कोई portion तो आप publicly आप दिखा रहे हो। hmm. And you end up uh, sh- you may or may not end up sharing more than what you wanted. Okay. So where do you draw the line? Uh, you know, like how do how do you deal with the the constant judgment, the constant appreciation? People want to be content creators क्योंकि तुम लाइन लाइट लाइन लाइट में आ रहे हो लोग तुम्हें देख रहे हैं तुम फेमस हो रहे हो बट उसके साथ साथ यू नो द डाउन साइड इज दैट यू लूज अ सर्टन पार्ट ऑफ योर प्रिवेसी एंड यू ऑल्सो ओपन योर सेल्फ अप टू यू नो पीपल एंड पब्लिक लुकिंग एट यू जजिंग यू एंड कॉमेंटिंग ऑन यू एंड दैट डज अभी कोई कुछ भी बोल ले इट डजन बींग So now that you work with content creators, can you share कि कैसे करते हैं लोग ऐसे सिचुएशन? They don't give a fuck. They, they you actually reach a, a point where you don't give a fuck. Of course, you'd have to stop giving a fuck around it because initially you will, you will face it. Yeah. In any case, you will go down that drain. It's humanly inevitable के ये नहीं होने वाला है. It's simple के ये होने वाला है. But you have to come over it and stop giving a fuck about it. Why? Because If it's affecting your mental health, mm. go and see a therapist. Yeah, very simple. It's plus this stage also comes at a very later point. Right? Starting with the way recognize. Karna it's a nee. There, there are one night wonders as well. Yeah. Like she said, Just there are one night wonders. Very small, yeah. And kisi ek ne ek koi cheez bol di jo tumhe achhi nahi lagi. It it is going to affect you. So of how, initially, how do people deal with it? So I I understand that you reach a point where you don't give. Correct, that. correct, correct. So initially, also you have to. यू डक ओवरकम दैट हेजिटेशन राइट इनिशियल हेजिटेशन क्या है मेरे फ्रेंड सर्कल में मैंने ये वीडियो बनाया साले कोई ना कोई मेरे आगे कॉमेंट करेगा क्या बकवास कर रहा है राइट हमने एक रील बनाया था <laughs> all these, all this time you're taking pot shots at me and now you want to bank on me अच्छा हमने तो रील बनाया था <laughs> initial hesitancy thi right it was very simple we were initially very hesitant to what will this look like man this is like a this like normal content that we've created and everything but then that is something that you come over in your mind there's no set charter to it it's simple that you say that hey this is what i'm doing for myself and creation is exactly what you're doing for yourself right you are creating for yourself and it's very important to understand that most of the content creators today there are lakhs of content creators that start on a day and then don't really continue to be that famous or don't really continue to the tread that thing, line yeah. tread that success line why because what are you creating for is the um inevitable question that you should have before starting to create the first thing is if you are creating for money i'm sorry my friend नहीं होएगा मतलब इफ योर फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ थॉट इज दैट इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग टू एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ ऑन द इंटरनेट देन नो मैटर व्हाट यू आर अ स्ट्रांग पर्सनालिटी हु इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्रेस हिमसेल्फ और हरसेल्फ एंड यू विल बी एबल टू ओवरकम सम पीपल माइट नॉट बी एबल टू ओवरकम फॉर देम आई वुड एडवाइज टेक हेल्प सिंपल नथिंग एल्स 
there's no uh, blueprint to it mm. very simple and after a certain point in time when you see success in yourself and the creation that you've made right those 5 10 people are trying to bog you down let them do it let them do it it's great for your engagement mm. for me it's great for my engagement i agree 500 log agar gaali de raha hai mere you agree and you mein. also seem to have been there yep <laughs> <laughs> I had quite a lot of doubts when I was pretty much uh, taking a sabbatical from my thriving practice. Like it was at the peak of my practice that I was like, "No man, like I have to modify it in order to like look at myself as in a holistic manner over the course of the next whatever years I have on earth." Had mm-hmm. time on that. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, "Nay," and like the clients were good, the money was good, everything was good. But at the end of the day, this is exactly what is coming to the next segment that you see like how content creators. are the next are not like are, are not the next thing they are the thing now like they sure. are the businesses that yeah. are being created for the next the uh, biggest content creators of years you will not have industries you will have content creators as industries in themselves yes but there are two there are two facets to it shitej uh, like well, jab dekhte hai na like mr beast establishes the world's biggest youtube uh, entrepreneurship hmm. then he starts a save uh, save the planet uh, initiative hmm. and then he That's sets up a, and then he sets up a burger chain with 100 million revenue in the first year itself mm. so <clears throat> and lawyers like we guys should definitely think about it because as per the advocates act we are not allowed to publicize our services yeah. whatsoever mm. but as per the sand uh, which was contrary taken by the bci before the supreme court that online it's different you can or you cannot it's still in the gray mm. but at the same point of time lawyers nowadays have taken a taken to the winds and and started making a change by asking for solicitation online that dm for consult or uh, no no yeah you're not allowed to do that online or offline it's not permissible it's um like the lord does not talking about it lord doesn't change his time but that's the whole bloody problem <laughs> yeah <laughs> i feel that the whole fucking you. problem with law absolutely it should change with time man <laughs> but it the practice has certainly changed by lawyers so there are n number of ways now to advertise your practice and advertisement will be not the right word to promote your practice mm-hmm. um but it's not um, the uh conventional ways of doing it you just yeah. can't uh, can't go online and tell people give me work you especially um, when you have uh, websites <coughs> there are, uh you act you're supposed to have a disclaimer yep. that we it's are there. not it's there. always it doesn't there. amount to solicitation yeah. Yeah. Really? but we get, getting yeah. to a really good you can't put a, put a call to action to your video online and say that hey yeah. i'm so good at my work <laughs> come fuck me have you ever doing s- that no so you not for channels lawyers. of lawyers ha huh? Is is an another way of promoting yourself. Correct, correct. But Everybody should practice. No, no, they, no. The practice. That so if I am a doodler, let's say for example, give me this case example. Like I am a doodler. I create a doodle. Mm-hmm. At the end of my video, I put a CTA down for my audience to be intentionally moved towards my website to that. purchase my doodle. Can't do that. You can't do no, that. No, we can't give our uh, details. No. We can't say, "Oh, please contact us. We're <laughs> so good at no our advertisements." <laughs> Uh, no saying on YouTube that oh I'm no, not this lawyer. No, alcohol companies can't sell alcohol. Days. Oh, um, please come to me. Absolutely mm. not. Yeah. You know how his fifth point was contact a lawyer. That is no, the limit. No, fifth point was mind that relax. Like <laughs> no, you had a sixth <laughs> point. <laughs> that was the sixth one. His yeah. point, fifth point, contact a lawyer. That is the limit to our advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> contact a lawyer. A a a a. 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 <laughs> 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 Very sad, yeah. As you much as I like to ask you, what did what did this mean <laughs> when you pointed at the? I mean, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Hey, chai le kara. <laughs> so, but you were getting to a really good point as to how these few YouTubers move on now to entrepreneurship and make their uh, name bigger. in business as well yes mm-hmm. is something which everyone every creator should think about is again i've said it so many times today commercial exploitation of your work right. and it's Very not important. just you just say today i've created this lyrics and uh, i sell it today to this particular composer and uh, I, my job is done no absolutely not you can have perpetual rights until mm. your life of course mm. and your legal heirs can also have it over that work 
रिकॉर्डिंग हिमसेल्फ एंड पुटिंग इट आउट ऑन द ऑन इंस्टाग्राम इट वॉज रिकॉर्डेड बाई समी एल्स एंड पुट आउट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम टू कैंड शो केस दट है दिस गाइज बट डज नॉट मैटर लिरिक्स स्टिल आर हिज ओन ओरिजिनल करेक्ट दैट्स द रीजन वाई यू सी अ बादशाह कोलेबोरेटिंग विद दिस गाय गोइंग डाउन द ट्रेन टू कोलेबोरेट विद दिस गाय and not go to T series and get that usage right hmm. simple logon ne to see original creator hi garib pe bhi content bana diya tha dekho isko kuch nahi mila aao mere ko paise donate bro abhi wo tanish bakchi kya kar raha hai it's as simple as that no he is also doing the same bloody so the way to make it big is no that you have rights over everything that you create today yeah. everything that you create can be commercially exploited know that you have rights so that you can stretch it as much as you can right yes and But once you're negotiating that commercial <coughs> exploitation commercial sale of your work then think about what you're giving away mm-hmm. how much are you giving away yeah. you don't have to give it all and what mm-hmm. is the value that it holds and you can license exactly. it you know like you can assign mm-hmm. it license it assign syndicate it, it yeah. as well mm-hmm. for a so it largely depends upon uh, what sort of content you're even making in the first place mm-hmm. like Uh, what I see, music is Absolutely. really, uh, really, music really. Like, uh, I mean, I would like to say that music really uh, has has so many layers that you can't. I mean, you you you'll get mind bogged yeah. when you go into rights of music. Music mind. is still like one of the complex forms of. Art. Like the reason why that industry suffers. That's why there are these uh, co- uh, copyright societies. For correct, music. correct. Yeah. Particularly for, for the music. longest so time, was there was no royalty. Ah. Oh. It then, only came into action a couple of years back. And True. then the record company yeah. ended up uh, owning everything and yeah. pushing the artists. That's the idea. reason why you see a lot of resurgence of uh, music artists independently yeah, now. Yes. They yeah. were signed to labels because label would pay them, let's say, for example, X amount of money to yeah. create a video, and as a full term royalty for their own piece of music. Hmm. Whereas that fucking label would earn out of it for the next fifty years. Yes. It's as simple as that, and as as people have started becoming aware. People are now started owning their own music. They just syndicate or license it. So yes. the label saying that okay, you want to use it in a movie, use it for this particular usage Anyways, period. Right. Everybody did it without a record label for the longest time. If I'm not wrong. Uh, everybody has done that. I think the first artist to kind of break out in that particular fashion was Nuclea. Hmm. Uh, that yeah. was OML who started. Uh, uh, I mean, I worked for them as well. Uh, <coughs> OML started this 17 years long. I mean, back. when they started and it's seven weekender and they started pushing artists to publish yeah, their music uh music individually and independently on youtube versus with labels right <laughs> and that's how you see the f16s the ritwizes of today the nucleus of today and everybody who've come along the way and paved the way for musicians today like a yashraj also goes out and puts out his rap segment on youtube and gets 2 million views out of it that's simple so that's the power of क्रिएशन ऑफ कॉन्टेंट आज से दस साल पहले ए को यशराज ने मना किया था कि दो मिनट का मत डाल बट अगर आज ए आई नहीं नहीं आई एम टॉक यशराज आर्टिस्ट नॉट आई थॉट यू गोना लाइक पॉइंट नहीं धूम थ्री का नहीं डाल बता दो दैट्स द रीज सी द लॉज वर वेरी एम्बिगुअस एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम नो बडी अंडरस्टूड अ लॉट ऑफ इट सेकेंड थिंग इज इट वॉज वेरी सेफ लाइक एवरीबडी सेड यर वेरी सेफ टू टेक अ परमिशन वेरी सिंपल इफ यू हैव द परमिशन यू कैन डू इट राइट अदरवाइज दे वुड बी cases slapped on you and everything besides you already seen ai be kind of go down with that drain mm, with yeah. roast and everything yeah. right so essentially the society also is very very yeah, the time uh, change we had people like hasan minhaj bis- <laughs> exactly <laughs> hasan minhaj is of course in the us yeah. where there has been a lot of education around it uh, but in india of course nobody knew it there was tvf and aib kind of mm-hmm. doing leading the charge there right and they were also experimenting with mm-hmm. youtube youtube came out in 2008 2010 12 is when they started experimenting with original content with creators and supporting creators 2014 15 16 is when it burst out mm-hmm. and then of course we all know the journey and then in fact if you remember earlier even until today people don't know how many second edge of music copyrighted music can you use on your video 
it's very ambiguous some creators kind of use it and they so are getting there is no fixed rule yeah. it's a zero second rule वैसे तो on youtube ha ah. ah. hmm. it's a zero second rule honestly because i as a creator have gotten that strike but hmm. there are creators where i see that not gotten that strike right that that also depends on discretion now. yes yeah. very much depends on discretion one whose discretion the original creator's discretion so yeah. if let's say for example a uh, 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 ritwiz is not putting a strike on tanmay's video where tanmay is using his music every time it's because one he is friends with him second he is already given that permission internally mm. to him that i will not do it it's discretion for him otherwise content id strikes will go directly but he specifically white listed tanmay bhat as a channel on his back mm. very simply put mm. so that's that's the case it's an evolution of that yeah. platform uh, phase as well where now we understand a lot of laws and everything but i i am still very i mean very very wary of the fact on how much of copyrighted music can be used because there are creators who are using it and not getting and getting away with it i don't know how that's Why again we, the owners uh, owners choice do you want to go after uh, the person Correct. or not so, so a pudipai will not i mean a t series yes. will not say that pudipai mera gana mat bajaya yeah. because it's getting distributed yeah, to 120 exactly, million uh, people ek sath subscribers so ko it depends like on that. the owner correct the that's simple as that the creator and yeah. moving on to the le- next point that we were discussing uh, <clears throat> uh creation of your trademark protection of your uh, copyrights uh, moving forward commercially exploiting them the next part when you commercially now use the name that you've made mm. as you were giving the example of Mr Beast and so many businesses that he is in now that's why it's highly important that you what you can start working with the name that you start with mm. is something where it's not problematic later on hmm. it's something which cannot be challenged later on so you do that work in the beginning itself like yep. uh, no one starts their youtube life with a thought that oh later on i might start a burger chain hmm. absolutely not but everyone should start their business with a thought what i've created today Will is diversify. my own and is distinctive to me hmm. right and this guy- if you want your business your youtube to convert into business of any kind then start with this idea that mm-hmm. at least the name i'm coming up with the logos that i'm designing for myself is something distinctive to me distinctive right to me. because uh, these days people have the thought process to i think years back later. that is what people used to think because at that time there was not a lot of exploitation okay now people think um, कोई बात नहीं अभी काम तो शुरू हो जाए वील सी अबाउट द नेम लेटर बट दैट इज नॉट हाउ इट शुड वर्क आई कम टू मी 5 इयर्स डाउन द लाइन 10 इयर्स डाउन द लाइन आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग देयर बिजनेस एंड नाउ व्हेन दे कम टू मी एंड से समवन एल्स हैज ऑब्जेक्टेड टू देयर ट्रेडमार्क टुडे एंड इट इज एक्सट्रीमली आइदर सिमिलर और नियरिंग आइडेंटिकल आई टेल माय ओन क्लाइंट डोंट गिव मी मनी चेंज योर मार्क यस आफ्टर 10 इयर्स आई टेल देम दैट यू माइट lose mm-hmm. and highly the, the highest possibility is you will lose so when you start set your ground right yep. if you want you have a longer vision for your youtube for your uh, social media and subsequently you have an idea that you'd want to convert it into a business as well mm-hmm. then start with your basics right yes and don't rebrand 10 years down the line and focus on right. idea because you yeah. won't do it yourself definitely rebranding you won't do it yourself someone else will force you to yes. uh, do, do it do it and then all the I money that the you put in the rebranding bit because there's a very big example in front oh, of us of course see, i'm i'm i was talking in a way when you know your due diligence yeah. and strategy is, uh, is when you uh, know that easy, you easy. there's no way out of it tomorrow Got it's it. better that yeah, you yeah, you're stuck in a trap yes. you're stuck in a trap later on correct correct it as well but of course it 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 is a very valid uh, valid uh, argument and point for uh, you to make or for any creator to also understand that hey if you are going with the thought of creating something you might have to diversify later on and you hmm. need to protect yourself today in order to kind of be there 10 hmm. years later which is very valid fantastic point yep Well, that was a lot of law, and I'm like honestly done with the law for today. As <laughs> continuous as I can. Perfect. Let's Thank talk about law. me moving out of law now. He's <laughs> 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 already out of the law right now. Oh, oh, oh. You wanna you wanna challenge that uh, psyche? Come on. Who's <laughs> stepping out of law? You've already done that, no? No. 
No, you kind of hop in, hop out. <laughs> no, but I'm practicing law right now, like properly. Oh. Yeah, like. Mm, we'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> Or, or you... evening or night, whenever you want to come over to Noida and we'll go to that restaurant where we had a fantastic dal <laughs> and you, <laughs> you'll talk to that uncle as well. Yeah, um, let's do it. Let's talk legal topics No, let's talk about legal topics, but you had a couple of questions that uh, had to come. Can I, can I... More or less, most of the questions that... Take a break. Uh, All right, so that was a fun conversation. Thank you so much, Shitej. Uh, Thanks, man. Don't appreciate the pot shots, but definitely appreciate the input. <laughs> Naharika, you were a wonderful one today. Uh, thank you for taking over the academic part. I was fucking clueless throughout the entire <laughs> podcast. Ashutosh, uh, finally, and Shrutika. Uh, yeah. I definitely learned a lot of what not to do and uh, yeah, why should I worry more about detailing more of my work and thinking what I'm creating <laughs> rather than just worrying about creating in the first place. Um, yeah, let's call it off with that uh, fun podcast on a journey, more power to gig economy, let creators be more aware, protect their intellectual property. I'll have to edit a lot of things out in this one, but I look forward to that one because <laughs> I surely think that this is this was one of the most important things that anybody needs to be aware of, considering the fact that uh, they are not just doing it for the heck of it. Like if there is a dis- difference in the creator between somebody just po- uh, bringing out their phone and looking at somebody making some sabzi and they're like baba maza gaya to the point that somebody is now creating a value in order to uh, reach a certain objective i still and don't agree with that <laughs> <laughs> it's creating I value enjoy. even <laughs> if you <laughs> are doing <laughs> it law does not distinguish and exactly every, it's every, equivalent to everyone yeah, everything for everything you it may be uh, cringe for a lot of people it's cool everyone is the same good. level for uh, for the law everything is creation yeah. so main agar sabzi banaungi na meri kadhai aur chamach different hoga tera wo bhi different hoga to there you have it so uh, you're your, your, your elitist <laughs> attitude is not required here. He thinks uh, he's there. Huh. <laughs> no, no, it's not, it's not him being just... there. No, it's not, it's not about him being there. So the idea of reels today or idea of short format content is what, right? This is a very peculiar point which, is, which has been debated a lot across forums and has come to a conclusion that democratization of creation of content has been the winner for every platform. That's why you see uh, uh, TikTok taking off like anything. And then YouTube also coming up with shorts and Instagram instantly going for reels, changing the whole freaking algorithm on your feed today to showing you zero photos to Mm -hmm. 100% videos, starting Mm -hmm. with 25% ingestion Mm -hmm. and stuff. So essentially, you have to democratize everything in order to kind of scale and in order to empower people. Who and came to this people. conclusion though? Correct. I really want to ask who came to this conclusion. What? <laughs> you just said that the conclusion is also here and you're telling us the conclusion. No, that's been discussed uh, across yeah. a lot of forums, of media forums, whether it's all that matters in Singapore or whether that's all about music in mm-hmm. India or whether that's SXSW uh, in, uh, uh, I mean, uh, US, where... The conclusion has come to the fact that, hey, democratization of content has only happened because of small, uh, short form content, Mm -hmm. because long form content is one investable and of course it's it's exorbitant to kind of produce in a very good. Of course, it's time. Mm -hmm. How how much time would you take to create a reel on a road versus how much time you take to create this This podcast today? It's very much different, and the people have spoken. Not us. The yeah. highest watch time. That on is platforms. what I was looking for. The highest watch time. And <laughs> 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 adjourn. <laughs> oh, that can be a done. <laughs> done deal. Yeah. So but the I highest watch a time. Difficulty you get with that, and I, I was just thinking about that difficulty. Uh, democratization of this of content in general, um, and where the creator loses the ability to control where the content is going now. Mm. His creation, her creation is going now. Dilutes your right to protect it. Of course. Yes, everyone owns out of it. But is the original creating able to exploit it the way he or she wishes to exploit it? Is something that this new concept uh, dilutes. Yeah. Well, that is a test f- test of time. The law that needs to be mm-hmm. smarter. <clears throat> is my is I'm my sure, take on it. Is I'm my sure uh, it. time will definitely because, play its uh, role. It will be asked. It will be asked. Of course. It will be asked uh, if you go to court that you are 
fighting this case against this particular individual who is using your content the the other side if i would have been the other side's counsel i would have shown them 1000 pages or youtube channels where the same content is being used and i'd ask the court why me hmm so the ability the right for you to control where your work is heading it 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 loses that effect but it when on the negative control. when on the negative receiving end you can't really claim parity in front of court saying that why me i mean just saying no, like how it uh, works is pe ek kafi judgments bhi aa chuke hain in high court uh, where um, the, if i sh- just share an example taj hotel hmm. Hmm. taj hotel uh, files a case against the taj restaurant yeah. right uh he says oh there are thousand taj dhabas yeah. going around so mm-hmm. why me right so court said that it is his right when you be- become big enough he'll take action against you right but it is a valid point to say until if if you're not big you just want to challenge one small individual mm. uh you you want to go against one individual one one uh, page uh one uh, channel and say you stop right then i will say every everyone's i'm so sorry everyone's uh, everyone's using it it it's so much so that it is it has become generic generic yep in 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 the in the uh, uh in the community mm-hmm. right so why why do you stop me i think we'll have to bring shahjar's uh, uh, successors to kind of file a case against taj hotel <laughs> <laughs> now because taj mahal is originally his creation uh. that is funny because but that's the distinction over these examples is that was a trademark mm. dispute They, these are copyright issues mm. as you rightly said more complicated than a trademark mm. dispute mm. Uh, because mm. a lot of people can be beneficiaries and uh, owners at the same time um but it's also about the so why me ka answer for me is basically in i think i i'm i'm going to be too f- uh, freaking cliche and film me about it somewhere i kind of heard in a film where it says that unless and until you bring a problem to the court room it is not a problem mm. so okay i'm 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 just i'm just yeah. blurting it out i'm just uh, i just wanted a validation on that so one. just to end this from my side this this particular topic um yes i said this before as well control where your content is going mm. and do you want it to go there if you do absolutely if you want all the all of instagram to use your music use your content go for it if that's your intent if your intent is to keep it small and i want this music to be used only by me and i want to sell it off i want to license it then think about how you want to exploit that content right because if you just let it out without any control uh then uh, it becomes more tricky complicated yeah, for you, you might later to control it. that or exploit it commercially mm-hmm. yeah so that's the bus- business side of it well i think there was a fair conclusion on mm-hmm. how to go about intellectual property uh, while being a creator yourself mm-hmm. and while as advocates we can't look at the camera and say give us cases and give us clients we can definitely say you can like share and subscribe to our videos <laughs> and <the channel. laughs> so that's there and let's call it adjourned for the day finally <laughs> don't hear that in court these days yeah, yeah. <laughs>